Welcome, my girls. I'm sugar. That's all. Welcome, the king of the dance hall. What? What's up? What's up? What's up, peoples? Happy 2000 and motherfucking 16. Mm. I can hear my pot on the fucking stove sizzling up. I'm cooking while I'm recording this video because you know the homie got to eat. Anyway, I'm cooking up some brown stew chicken, Jamaican style, you know how I do, with some boiled bananas, boiled yellow yams, boiled <laughs> potatoes, and boiled pumpkin. You know, I'm giving you raw Jamaican style as I motherfucking should. Anyway, I just want to go ahead and dive into some, some flashback or throwback or whatever you want to call it of 2016, some moments of 2016 that stood out to me, and I just want to highlight a couple of them, sorry, 2015. Shit, I'm I'm only getting messed up. Y'all probably wonder what's in my DM glass. Oh, oh, oh. Anyway, I'm drinking up some pink Moscato. Mm. With a splash of um peach um Amsterdam. Anyway. Make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe to my channel before y'all go any further. Thank y'all for subscribing who have already subscribed. All my 2015 followers, let's double the number 2016. Okay, let's get these subscribers on and popping, right? Anyway, 2015, we saw so much shit went on. Some of the shit broke up, some of the shit got popping. But I want to just want to highlight a couple of them that things stood out to me. Y'all know 2015 was the was like the selfish phenomena. Everybody was taking selfies, and then it went to the us's. It's like it's like the breakout of the selfies in two thousand and fifteen. Do y'all agree? There was so much people popping up with selfies and selfie sticks got popping in two thousand and fifteen. I myself, my selfie stick. Had, I myself got me a selfie stick. I can't really find a stick right now, but y'all see, I got my selfie stick. But. It was on a popping. Even um, you know, we went from taking selfies to now making like what they call it the fish, the fish um gape. I don't know what what that is about, but I'm not trying to be doing too much in myself. I'm just trying to be me myself and doing that little dumb shit talking about you making a fish lip like trying got time for that. It's like taking a selfie and trying to make a little trying to put a little openness in between your lips. I ain't got time for that. Like this. So oh, that's not cute. That was that was that was popping in 2015. You know the Kardashians. You know they were the one who were trying to be doing too much with the lips in 2015 with them selfie shit. But you know Miley Cyrus, you know you know did a lot too in 2015, and you know she hosted the MTV Awards, and we know that she changed like around three, four, five times. And um, I think the outfits were designed by Jeremy Scott. You know um, one of them. Um, very expressive designers, and you know she was doing her thing. You know, I, I watch the VMAs, and I, you know we were paying attention to a lot of stuff that Ma, Miley wear, and even the the beef that she and you know Nicki Ma, Nicki Ma, Minaj had, <laughs> Nicki, Nicki Minaj had, you know. But we were so focused on the damn outfits that my, my, uh, Miley was wearing, we ain't got time to fuck, fucking with Miss um, Nicki Minaj feud that she had um, doing the VMAs. Anyway, the Pope visit the U.S. Finally, he accepted the um the request of I can't remember who invited him, but anyway, the Pope came to the U.S. He was in Philly. Of course, he went to saw the President Obama. There were there were a shutdown in many cities where you are trying to get to work, and the sh the shit was shut down, sub was shut down, um, bus was shut down, just because the Pope was here. So if y'all got to see the Pope, good for y'all. I didn't get to see the Pope, and I don't care. Um, then Super Bowl 2015 popped off with Katy Perry. You know Katy Perry. You know um, teenage dream. That, that you know she done. I kissed the girl and y'all know who Katy Perry is. Let me yeah y'all know who Katy Perry. Is. She did a 2015 Super Bowl halftime game. Ain't know who she brought out. Missy 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 Mini <laughs> Missy Mister Mina Elliot. She brought out. Oh, I don't want no minute man. I don't want no minute man. Ooh. Yeah, she brought up Missy Elliott and the damn 
concert, halftime, whatever you want to call it, at Super Bowl 2015, was the motherfucking business. And that was also a highlight for 2015. Um, some terms that, you know, I don't know if it, if it was... If it became more popular in 2015, but you know, everybody was like, buy Felicia, buy this, buy that. I'm like, you know, that stemmed from the movie Friday, but it was re-emerged and got a lot of popularity in Sains in 2015, if y'all know what I'm saying. Everybody also was doing a lot of memes with the next flick, the next flicks and chill thing. I hope the next flick is getting their subscription increase because everybody's doing this, oh, you want a next flick and chill? AKA, do you want to come over, watch a movie, start to watch a movie, and then let's get it on and pop it. Eh, eh. <laughs> also, in 2015, people were talking about mic drop, like dropping the mic, mean that bitch, I'm done. You know, you got red, you got served, you know, you know. No, they, you know, 2015 was about, you know, no, just doing mic. Everybody was dropping mic. Bitch, bye. Also, um, what was the one I wrapped the dress people did not know? Oh, in 2015, you remember that dress everybody was posting on Facebook and Instagram, also on Twitter, about somebody wearing this damn, this dress. Was it blue? I can't remember what it was. It was called, it was hashtag in dress gate. I don't know what color that was. What, is the dress blue and black? Is it gray and black? Or is it brown? Is it, I'm like, I don't fucking care what about that color that dress is. Why the fuck we gotta be concerned about what the color is this jam dress? If y'all know what I'm talking about, let's go ahead and search hashtag dressgate. Also, that girl, Rachel Do Dolazar, whatever her damn name, that um, was the president of um, one of them black organizations that was trying to be acting like she was so black that got called out. Actually, she was born... Caucasian, and she says she represents and, and, and identifies as being African American. I'm like, girl, you know you were born black. Sorry. <laughs> you know you were not born black, and you were Caucasian, you know you white. Child, that was a big shit of 2015. Also, the Rachel's, um, those are whatever her name, last name is, um, um, scandal she wasn't a scandal it was just like you know they call her out it was a big thing you know she you know she you know she was she resigned all that stuff because she was you know she was being like a can we say she was being fake oh guess she was also marriage equality by president obama was given to everybody in 2015 and i'm like damn 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 it's about motherfucking time 2015 saw the marriage equality where everybody, no matter what gender you are, what your sexual preference is, race, color, whatever you are, you, you can marry whoever you want in all of damn 50 states in America, which is a big plus because you know people have been fighting, LGBT community, different, different organizations have been fighting for many years to get this passed. And finally, marriage equality has been passed and is recognized in every damn state of America. Thank God. Also, June 2015, the eggplant phenomenon came out of nowhere. People were posting pictures of, if you know what an eggplant is, eggplant is a damn, is a fruit? I don't know if it's a fruit or a vegetable, whatever you want to call it to be. But, aka, egg, eggplant equal means a big penis bulge. It don't mean no damn vegetable or no fruit. It means that you have a big bulge stuck in out of your underwear. That's what eggplant means. There was eggplant Friday, eggplant Tuesday. Eggplant every fucking day. All of a sudden, Instagram blocked eggplant hashtags. But anyway, that didn't stop people from posting eggplant picture. The game. We're posting um, underwear pictures with his bulge prints. Um, Lil Fizz from, from B2K, Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, was posting dick print pics. Um, the B.O.B. started this damn eggplant shit too. Um, August Alcina, you know, he loved to get on top, you know, with all them social media buzz. He was posting eggplant pic. Key Carlos, America's Next Top Model winner, first American male top, um, first American male top model winner, was posting eggplant picture too. Tyson Beckford, you know you had to get on top of it. One of the most recognized male supermodel. It was eggplant here, and then you know the porn stars and you know everybody and their mama or their boyfriend was posting eggplant pictures. 
You know what? I love seeing them eggplant pictures. Keep on posting them. Let's go. Let's get an eggplant over in 2016. And I wish them um Instagram will stop that um blocking of the ha the hashtag eggplant. Also in 2015, um no, the, the the um the, the presidential um nomin um sorry, presidential candidates were announced, but the two that stand out to us most was Donald Trump is running for president, bitch, and. Former um, president's wife slash I think she was former Secretary of State or Secretary of whatever Hillary Clinton also running for president of the United States. I don't know who I'm gonna vote for or what party, but Donald Trump is doing the most. But we'll see how that plays on two thousand and whatever season that election comes around. But also that was popping two thousand fifteen. Caitlyn Jenner, aka Bruce Jenner, former of <laughs> former. Um, that used to be popping with the, the, the Kardashians, you know, he's Kylie and um, Kendall, he's Kylie and Kendall Jenner's, oh, my video's acting up, my camera's acting up, I'm trying to, I think, make sure it's not running out of time. Kylie Jenner and Kendall Jenner's father, now, I guess their mother, um, got, a, I guess, a, now is a trans woman, and her name is Kendall, no longer Bruce, that was popping in 2015, um, you know, she had a series on OWN. Or E, sorry, ETV that was called Caitlyn or Kate, something like that. Um, in 2015, also, Patty LaBelle had this damn old nasty old pumpkin pie that was going the internet crazy by um, that guy on YouTube that was that taste the pie and tell her about the pie. That pie was sold out in one week and made Patty LaBelle millions of dollars. The Patty Pie. Patty Pie was sold out at Walmart everywhere. Nobody could get a Patty Pie. So 2015 saw the, the emerge of the legendary Patty LaBelle, who you know sells seasoning and all them hot sauce and stuff, going into making um pastry, whatever you want to call it. The Patty Pies were sold out ever in Walmart across the country. Did you get the Patty Pie? Sorry, I'm not a big pie person, but that the way people were talking about the Patty Pies, seemed like they were good. Anyway, and if you got missed out, that was that highlight in this video about what was popping or what was um that stood out in 2015. Kim Kardashian had a baby again, called um Saint. Who had a baby again? And who else had a baby? Rihanna album is still not out in 2015. Still waiting. Um, many many people got disengaged. Who was engaged in 2015? CRM Future. Um, um. Well. Some of the shit popped out of 2015. I can't even go into it right now. But that was my highlights of 2015, 2015. This is your boy, The Real Rasta Boy, on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, all at the same time. Don't forget to give your cocktail. Pop, 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 pop. Cocktail, pop, 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 pop. Cocktail, pop, pop, pop. Anyway, sit while you're watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please share this video on your Facebook. Share it on Twitter. Retweet it on Twitter. Share it to your friend via text. And let me know the boy, Rasta Boy TV, does great videos on YouTube. Okay. What's going on tonight? Some pink mascara with a splash of peach Amsterdam. I'm going to go get back to finish my damn dinner. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Thank you so much for watching. And all the damn best floods in the 16. And more trends to come. Okay. Bye.